Okay, this is kind of random, but I just rewatched Heat and noticed something that I don't think anyone else has picked up on, which is the symmetry of Neil McCauley's crew of criminals with Lieutenant Vincent Hanna's crew of cops. Of course, Al Pacino and Robert De Niro are acting legends who have never been in the same movie together before Heat. One is a good guy who's facing off against the bad guy. I do what I do best. I take scores. You do what you do best, trying to stop guys like me. I spend all my time chasing guys like you around the block. That's my life. I don't know how to do anything else. Neither do I. I don't much want to either. Neither do I. And now that we've been face to face, if I'm there and I gotta put you away, brother, you are going down. There's a flip side to that coin. What if you do got me boxed in and I gotta put you down? But I will not hesitate. Not for a second. They both have their women troubles as side plots. It could work out between us. I first picked up on the symmetrical Bizarro cruise when I noticed that Wayne Grow looked a lot like Bosco, who of course was played by Ted Levine, who looked even more like him with long hair as Buffalo Bill in The Silence of the Lambs. It puts the lotion in the basket or it gets the hose again. Put the fucking lotion in the basket! By the way, for a supposedly elite crew of professional criminals, they could really work on their planning and organization instead of having crew members meet for the first time 30 seconds before your big high-risk heist. What's your name? Wayne Grove. Michael, huh? No, no, they're doing parallel. I'm sorry, man. Then you've got Danny Trejo with his counterpart, Casals. Yeah, I know Danny was Mexican, and last of the Mexicans, Wes Duty is Native American. Shut up. Next you've got the two token black guys on each side who are both background characters with barely any screen time. By the way, it took me a minute to figure out where I saw his boss at the diner from. He was the Bond Company stooge from The Life Aquatic with Steve Zissou. Well, I'm also a human being. Val Kilmer sort of has the Bizarro World version of him with this blonde cop who barely gets any screen time. San Clemente Road. Santa facility? What, cottage theft? What? Okay, there's not really an analog for Tom Sizemore's character, whatever, sue me. 